Hello, using a test assembly, I will show you how to insert parameters, connecting them at inertia volume, updating data, and finally to export the parameters and their values to Excel file. I will present some methods to select components in Kasha product as first step of procedure. The root product only is selected with a macro. As shown, only the root product was selected. Next, I will test the code in a part to see if this is detected. Now, within the part, I will run again the macro. A message detecting that active document is not a product appears, then macro ends. Next macro, selects all components of the active product, only first level, as you can observe. The code, is not so much different than the previous, but adds to selection, all the first level components. After unselection all, I will run the next macro. This time, also the root product was selected. Let's see the code. Now, the code is slightly different, the active selection if exists, is automatically clear, then using search, will be selected using in, same as previous, only first level components below in the code but not active are presented the search selections in all workbenches after activating search all in the code and running again the macro all the components and subcomponents to last level are selected Browsing the tree, there are two unhide constraints, by running the next macro, they will be selected and hidden. Here is the part of the code, activated to do this. At running the macro, the constraints are selected and hided, as shown. Next, I will add mass parameters, to selected components. Now, the parameter are inserted in active product, and connected through formulas, to inertia volume mass, from each component. At running again the same macro, the parameters and formulas are inserted once more, instead of excluding existing ones. The code is based on previous one, testing if active document is a product, then selecting only first level components, next adding parameters and formulas for each selected item. Some of the formulas, from the parameters inserted in product, are not working, due to missing inertia volume, from corresponding component. At the parameter suffix, I've added by code the characters underscore colon to can search next after them. At running the following macro, all the parameters containing in their naming underscore colon are selected and deleted one by one, together with their formulas. The macro is searching after defined string underscore colon, select all parameters containing it, then deletes them all, 
in same time or sequential. If there is nothing to be selected, the macro ends. Next macro, is a combination of first two, deleting parameters containing string underscore colon, and next adding new ones with improved formulas. This time, as you can observe, all the formulas are working and OK. At running again, the existing parameters and formulas are deleted, and replaced by new ones, no duplicates exists. Let's see the new code. First, the parameters are searched for string underscore colon then selected, deleted, and replaced with new ones. There are created three sets of parameters, each one with corresponding formula, connected to mass inertia volume 1 to 3, then the parameters with zero value, are deleted one by one. Usual there are up to three measurements, so therefore are defined formulas to corresponding mass. If there are no measurements, in some of the first level components, the formulas will return zero at value, and an error, because they have no connecting element. The fourth macro, will do the same, but the code is calling a subroutine, to remove existing parameters. Here is calling the subroutine, to delete parameters, placed at the end of document, in rest all is the same. In order to not mix new parameters, with existing ones, they can be grouped into a set. So first macro, will insert a new set, with one parameter, as presented. After testing if active document is a product, the macro checks if a set naming mass exists, if so macro ends, otherwise a new one is inserted, together with a new parameter. The second macro, will search for string mass, and delete the set containing it, and also all parameters under it. The code is as presented, if there is no existing set containing the string, the macro ends. The next macro, is derived from the previous one, only that after deleting the existing set of parameters, inserts a new one. Also the parameters for each component are inserted, this time all in the specified set, so they can't mix with possible existing parameters or sets. At a new running, the macro will delete the set, all parameters under it, and related formulas, then it will insert them again. The previous code is here, after deleting the set, continues and is not necessary to filter existing parameters by string underscore colon, because deleting the set, 
will also delete all the containing parameters, together with their formulas. The code continues with adding parameters in the new set, the formulas for creating parameters, are now connected to the new set, in rest they are not changed. Next macro will do the same, but inside code, the delete set and parameters portion, are putted in separate subs, and called from macro. At the end of the macro, are added the delete subroutines, for a better organize of code, and preventing errors. Now, I'm going to open a subassembly in a new window. Now, for this product, I will change the inertia volume name, as presenting. After saving the changes, the impact will affect the existing parameter formula, as you can notice. To fix this issue, I will run the macro again. The inertia volume name, was updated in formula. If I add, out of set parameters as shown, when updating them, using the last macro, the set with all contained parameters, together with the out of set parameters, containing the string underscore colon will be also deleted. At update, all the parameters are inside of defined set, connected to corresponding components inertia volume. The last macro, will select the parameters containing string underscore colon, and export them together with their values, to Excel file. The Excel file name, is the same as the active assembly, and saved in the same location. If I check, the Excel file is next to product, in same folder, with same name, of course different extension. The macro code, checks if a product is open, then if there are parameters, containing the string underscore colon will export them and their values in Excel. The string from parameter name, is removed by left formula, the parameter value is round up to two digits, then the formulas are removed. If there are not parameters, containing string, the macro will end it. Then, the Excel file is saved in same folder, with current assembly, and with the same name. Of course, the code for export to Excel, can be improved, but this is the subject of the second part of presentation.